Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do a JavaScript tutorial on free CodeCamp. And we're going to learn about parameters inside functions. So previously on the last function we wrote, we had the parentheses, but we had nothing in there. But what we can do is that we can pass in parameters and these parameters are variables that act as placeholder for the values that are going to be inputted in the function. They're known as inputs and or arguments for the functions. And so the last one, we just console log hello world. But if we can make that more dynamic by having a parameter one and parameter two, so it's going to console log whatever the value is in the parameter. So when we call test fun, we can put pass in, pass through hello and pass through world to console log hello world rather than hard coding it there. And why would we do that? It's just to make it more dynamic because sometimes our function depends on other outside factors. And we're gonna put it in practice so you can better understand what's going on. So we want to create a function called function with args. So to create a function, we do function and then as a keyword, now we do the name of the function, function with args, now parentheses, now we have the parameters. And note, you can write functions without parameters as well. But parameters can be useful in functions depending on what you're trying to do. So for this one, it accepts two arguments and we can make up variable names for them. And for this, I'm gonna do A and B. And now we do curly brackets of what we want the function to do. And we want it to console log the sum of it. So A, plus b. So now when we call the function, function with args, previously we just did this, but now we can pass in any numbers we want. So we can do three and one for this, and now we see four, and we can do whatever, five and two, and we get seven. So that'll be it for this one. Thank you so much.